Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. I see you're enjoying a beer at a sit-down restaurant. How does it feel? It's uh, been a long time coming, but uh, you know, our rights were taken away from us and it's time to uh, stand up and uh, take our rights back. We should be able to do this any day of the week. If you, if you went back a year, rewound, and told yourself that this is the world we were going to be living in, uh, in Alberta no less, would you have believed it? No, I wouldn't have. And it's, it's good to see that small businesses and people are finally starting to stick together and show that we can't, we can't be pushed down like that anymore. It's, it has to, I don't see the sense of the economy getting shut down or put on its ear just for something that government bodies feel that they can control. Kian Bexley for Rebel News here in Bicycle, Alberta at the Arcadia Cafe. This is a small cafe owned by Joanne Diaz. She's opened up her cafe despite the government regulations that have been put in place saying that cafes and restaurants can't be open for sit-down dining. She's doing this alongside many other restaurants in the province, all part of a restaurant revolution as owners of restaurants and cafes are sitting on their hands waiting for Jason Kenney to repeal the regulations that he put in place in December saying that restaurants like this one, cafes like this one, can't be open while Costco and Walmart and Safeway and many other huge stores are allowed to have their doors open for customers. They're saying that there's no difference in the risk to customers from a Walmart that is crowded to a small restaurant cafe like this, where there's people, you know, socially distanced at their own tables following all of the other rules. They're just wondering why they can't be open. And the health inspectors, well, naturally, they disagree and they want to shut the business down. And that's exactly what happened. When I pulled up to the business this morning, the cops were already here and the health inspector was sort of arguing with the owner. Now, I want to note, the police officer here was being quite nice. Actually, he ended up buying two burgers from this joint to support the business in solidarity, saying that they will be coming back time and time again to help small businesses in rural Alberta because they've been disproportionately affected by the shutdown. The RCMP officer, though, he did have to do his job and was standing alongside the health inspector who was not nearly as well-intentioned as the officer. Why are you taking pictures of them? What did, why are you taking pictures of the customers? You seem like a nice fellow. Why would, why the intimidation? All questions you can direct to our AHS communication team. But why, why the intimidation? No you seem like a nice guy. You had a nice conversation I no there. You, okay? I think that if all the people have the right to go shopping in the busy malls and, uh, you know, shop shoulder to shoulder, I mean, Boxing Day was crazy, that they should be able to come in and eat. Sure, we do offer takeout, but that, that doesn't cut it. If we can't be open for people to come in, then I don't think the mall should be open for people to go. They can online shop. Um, I can go get my hair cut. I can go get a massage. Every every business is essential, I think. Yeah. It's just it's not leveling out right. So as long as we follow our guidelines, we have our tables separated, six feet apart, wear a mask, there should be no problem. Oh, I see you're enjoying a beer at a sit-down restaurant. How does it feel? It's uh, been a long time coming, but uh, you know our rights were taken away from us, and it's time to uh, stand up and uh, take our rights back. We should be able to do this any day of the week. Mm -hmm. Jason Kenney was elected on a conservative platform of freedom and personal responsibility. Um, are you disappointed in him that he's allowed this to drag on so long? Yeah, uh, more than you know, especially when I can go over to um, our neighbors to the west and still enjoy a, uh, a meal and a beer in, in BC, which is a, a liberal run province versus our conservative run province. It's uh, very disappointing. Mm -hmm. will, will this affect how your, your support of Jason Kenney in the next election, if he ever had it in the first place? Uh, it will definitely make me uh, understand the, uh, the, the candidates and their platforms uh, a lot deeper than I did on this past election. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Now, Rachel Nolley, I guess, would be the other option. Yeah. Um, my guess is she would probably not be any better. Uh, do, you, do you think that the NDP have a chance in the next election with, with people like yourself questioning their support for the Conservatives? Uh, no, I don't think the NDP have a, uh, a, a chance. You know, I think we would still go back conservative before allowing communism to come back to Alberta. <laughs> Feels good. It's, uh, I mean, it's people's liberties. These small businesses need to, need to open up and stand up against stuff that's getting shut down. It, 
there's no need to be all the big box stores. Everything else is open. You can go and go wherever you want in Walmart or any of the any of the big stores, but you can't can't go into these little places. And I don't think it's right. So just yeah, just come to support. Mm -hmm. If you if you went back a year, rewound, and told yourself that this is the world we were going to be living in, uh, in Alberta, no less, would you have believed it? No, I wouldn't have. And it's it's good to see that small businesses and people are finally starting to stick together and show that we can't we can't be pushed down like that anymore. It's it has to. I don't see the sense of the economy getting shut down or put on its ear just for something that government bodies feel that they can control. They mostly were just talking at me and I was just listening and then he asked me if I was going to close my dining room and I said probably not and so then they were like you know th well tell me what's going to happen I could get my permit taken away and this that the other and then I just said look I would like some time to think about this I mean they're not leaving and I don't want them here all day long. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I said, oh, give me some time. I want to sit back and weigh my options and then I'll decide what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what does it matter if you lose your business, your restaurant license if you have to close down because you go out That's of business? That's what I said to them. I said, he, he said, I said, he, I said, okay, because he said, worst case scenario, we yank your permit. I said, okay, let's do that. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, I keep my dining room open. You guys come and you take my food permit and you close me down. I said, okay, let's go best case scenario. I close my dining room. I continue to struggle. I My bills continue to mount and I close down anyhow, only with triple the debt that I already have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I, And I know it's tough to make a decision, but what's what are you going to do? I'm going to stay open. <laughs> Good. It is high time for Jason Kenney to lift the regulations. There's no reason to have small businesses closed like this, especially ones that are so strictly following all of the other protocols put in place to protect against COVID. They're not anti-maskers or COVID deniers. They're just normal people. They're just people who want to make a living and live with dignity. That's all they want to do. Now, despite a notice being put on the door by the health inspectors, the owners here at Arcadia are going to be staying open tonight for Mexican night at Arcadia Cafe in Bicycle. I strongly recommend you check them out. I've tried their coffee and I've tried their coffee and it was delicious. Now, also, if you want to do something else for the cause, you can go to Save the Cafe. .ca. If you go there and sign the petition, we're putting every single person's name who signs that petition on Jason Kenney's desk. Jason Kenney is going to know exactly how many people are outraged by the fact that he is putting restaurant owners out to dry. Go to savethecafe.ca, sign the petition, and we'll let Jason Kenney know on your behalf exactly how angry his constituents are. For Rebel News in Bicycle, Alberta, I'm Kian Bexty. Hey there, like I said, please go to savethecafe.ca. Go there, sign your name, and we'll put your name on Jason Kenney's desk to let him know exactly how outraged Alberta is.